everybody. Welcome to Matthew Crandall Reviews. Today, in honor of James Bond Spectre being in the theaters, I thought I would do my top seven Bond films, starting at number seven, The Spy Who Loved Me, Roger Moore, in just a classic James Bond flick. We've got the henchman Jaws, who is fantastic with those awesome teeth and just a hulk of a man. This has Bond spouting off good one-liners and great quips. It's got the cool gadgets, the car that turns into a submarine, and it just fits that Bond, you know, womanizing, good action, cracking off one liner bit to a T, um, and does have that great battle at the end. So it's, it's one of the better Roger Moore movies for sure, and I really like The Spy Who Loved Me coming in at number seven. Coming in at number six, You Only Live Twice, and this one has a lot of the classic Bond-isms in it. We get uh, the great volcanic hideout, a piranha pool. Um, so this is sort of the stereotypical James Bond that Mike Myers so famously spoofed in Austin Powers with Dr. Evil. But it is just one of those great classic Bond movies. And Blofeld and Bond, both fantastic. Number five... Uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, George Lazenby, his only time playing Bond, and for a while a lot of people didn't really appreciate this movie because it's a little bit darker, ends on sort of a down note. Uh, it's got Bond falling in love with Diana Rigg. They get married. Uh, Telly Savalas is now playing Blofeld, but he's great in it. And it gets a lot of really good mileage from the great skiing stunts. Um, and then just such a sad, depressing down ending for Bond. Um, it's really one of the more profound, entertaining, but there's a lot more going on kind of Bond movies. It doesn't fit into that same mold as the other ones because Bond truly does fall in love in it and then gets that crushing heartbreak. And I think that really makes it stand out for me as one of the best Bond films uh, number four, Skyfall. Sam Mendes came in and just, after the disappointment of Quantum of Solace that had the worst action of any Bond movie in a long time, Mark Forrester's tight close-ups and horrible editing, Sam Mendes came in, revitalized Craig's run as Bond with just a lot of loving nostalgia and homage to the earlier Bond works. They gave a lot more depth to Bond's childhood and the psychology of Bond, but he was still a gritty son of a bitch, and they gave us a great villain in Javier Bardem's Silva, and they really just took it to a whole nother level, and they had the balls to go places that other movies didn't, and Judy Dench as M really got to step up to the plate and got a fantastic end, so I thought Skyfall is just one of those quintessential Bond movies that was for the new generation and worked as a movie in 2012 and was super entertaining but paid loving homage to the legacy of Bond and is just one of the ones that I watch over and over again and it still holds up great. Number three, Sean Connery in Goldfinger. Goldfinger obviously is one of the most iconic villains. Uh, we've got one of the most iconic Bond girls in Pussy Galore. We get that great Shirley Bassey song, fantastic title sequence, and it does have just that great sequence where Bond has a laser about to cut his balls off. Um, and you know, do you expect me to talk? No, I expect you to die. Uh, so Goldfinger is just one of the best classic Bond movies because it's got everything it's got some good fights, it's got great action, and a great villain, and lots of nice quips. Number two, Pierce Brosnan, Goldeneye. Goldeneye, really, it was the first Bond movie I got to see in the theater, and it revitalized Bond for a whole new generation. Pierce Brosnan was fantastic. Great supporting cast, Alan Cumming, Sean Bean, um, Famke, as Xenia on the top, like just really awesome action. Martin Campbell just completely nailed it. It had all the James Bond hallmarks, but it was smart, it was fast-paced, it had a good villain, and it had a decent plot where we knew what was at stake the whole time, 
and Pierce Brosnan was just all charm in GoldenEye, and it gave us one of the best uh, N64 video games of all time. And then my number one pick is Daniel Craig in Casino Royale, also directed by Martin Campbell, the man who has saved James Bond franchise twice from obscurity and parody. Casino Royale works because it was a great reintroduction to a new Bond, a new Bond who didn't give a shit what people thought and didn't fit the James Bond mold. You know, how do you want your martini? I don't give a damn. Uh, Really great stuff. And Ava Green as Vesper Lind, one of the best Bond girls, one of the most memorable Bond girls, and that's why they're still calling back to her throughout his run because she made such a great impact. And Mads Mikkelsen as Le Chiffre, just one of the best. Like, Mads Mikkelsen is a top-notch actor to begin with, but just the look with the eye, classic James Bond. It's really got some of the best action sequences. The whole finale is edge of your seat, and that crane fight, unbelievable. So, for me, Casino Royale is the one that holds up as the gold standard of what James Bond can be. James Bond in the era of Jason Bourne, and that's what makes Spectre all the more disappointing is that it just did not hit those same notes. So that's my top seven James Bond films. What are yours? Hit the comments. Let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe.